Offline email folders are folders that you create on your hard drive to store Outlook items. They are primarily used for storing email. These offline folders can be stored anywhere on your hard drive, but can only be viewed using Outlook. Because this email now only resides on a particular computer, if you are using a different computer or are using Outlook Web Access, you will not be able to see the email saved to your offline folder. These files have a .pst extension. Therefore, they are also known as PST files. They are also sometimes called personal folders or archive folders. Let's look at how these work. Your email is stored on a Microsoft Exchange server. You view the email on the server using Outlook on your computer. If you have a lot of email on the server, then you may want to take some of it off of the server and put it on your hard drive. You will create an offline email folder and then move the email to the folder on the hard drive of your computer. To create an offline email folder in either Outlook 2007 or Outlook 2003, go to the File menu, hover over New, and from the bottom of the list select Outlook Data File. Select the top option, Office Outlook Personal Folders File.pst, and click OK. Now you have to select where you would like to save this folder. The default location is buried deep within hidden folders, which makes it difficult to back up. So instead of saving your offline folder there, we suggest you go to your documents. and give it a name that will mean something to you. So in this case, I'll call it Old McCombs Email. And click OK. This window will look slightly different if you're using Outlook 2003. The important part for this window is the same in Outlook 2003 though. In the name box, you select the name that will be used when this appears in your folder list. You can see that currently the name shown is Personal Folders. If you look at the folder list on the left, I now have a folder in there called Personal Folders. I like to make the name that appears in Outlook match the name that I gave the file. So I'm going to call this Old McCombs Email. And now I'll click OK. If you do not enter a name for your offline folder, then the default will be Personal Folder. If you would later like to change the name of the folder in the folder list, you can right-click on the folder and select Properties for in the name of the folder. Then on the General tab, click the Advanced button, and in the Name box, you can change the name. In this case, I'm going to leave it the same. Now click OK and OK again. Now that you have created your offline email folder, you can start putting email in it. The easiest way to put email in your offline folder is to click on an email and drag it there. Now if I click on my old McCombs email folder, I can see that email there. You can select a group of emails by clicking on the first, holding down the shift key and clicking on the last. Or if you want to select a non-continuous group of email, you can hold down the control key and click emails that are not grouped together. And you can move all of these emails at once to the old McCombs email folder. These files can grow between 2 and 3 gigabytes before they start encountering problems. If you're having problems with your offline email folder, it may have reached its size limit and it's time to start a new one. If you think it will be difficult to manually move your email to your offline email folder, then watch the auto-archiving video. Thank you for watching.